The millipedes that we study, these millipedes that produce uh, hydrogen cyanide as a defense, have a really interesting way of getting around their world. They're actually completely blind. Uh, this lineage has been blind for about 200 million years, so it's a, a very ancient loss of eyes. And they have these very highly um, muscled antennae, and they use those antennae kind of, like, uh, kind of like a blind man's cane to kind of feel tactily the world around it. Millipedes are a um, class of arthropods. Um, the class has about 12,000 species in it, with probably about an, another order of magnitude remaining to be described. It's amazing to me that we know so little about these arthropods. You know, they're the most diverse organisms that have ever lived on the planet. And here in our own backyard, here in Appalachia, we know so little. Here in this forest, we're doing research and describing new species. So the best places to find these millipedes are very moist locations. And these are locations where there's a little gully, that coupled with kind of the accumulation of uh, leaves. And we use this millipede rake, and we rake through the leaf litter where these millipedes occur, and find the millipedes beneath this decaying uh, vegetation that they're feeding on. I kind of like to think of them as the little garbage men of the forest floor. And then we take the millipedes and we uh, document their, their color. They have colors in yellows and oranges and reds. That coloration evolved as a warning signal to tell predators that they're uh, toxic. And we also extract their DNA for um, DNA sequencing to reconstruct these evolutionary histories as a way to gauge biodiversity of these organisms on the planet.